It's FDM Transtastic's third year of existence. This inspired me to check how long I've personally been making videos for this channel, and this is 598 days since my very first video on this channel. I've been on this channel one year, seven months, and 20 days. That is longer than half of the time that this channel has even been alive. And like Emery and August pointed out, our most popular video to date on this channel, it has over 100,000 views. It has more dislikes on it than most of our videos have likes. It has more dislikes than any video on our channel. Yet it is our most popular video, and like they said, it is just this twinky gay boy running around in his underwear. The thumbnail is him in a jock strap, and I'm just wondering, is there anything really wrong with that? And now you can spend the rest of this video knowing that that's what I'm wearing outside of the range of what you can see in the camera. So there's that. But when we think about how that video, which is completely irrelevant to our channel and isn't a very good video, ball sack. That's not the only video on our channel that has ended up that way. There are other videos, namely one where I am laying naked on my bed with a cowboy hat on my junk. And the thing that this does is it brings a lot of people to our channel that have no idea what a tran is, as Chase would say. They don't know what trans people are. They don't know what queer people are. They barely know what a gay person is. Maybe they're gay and they still don't know what a trans person is. And even people who aren't stumbling across these weird, random, irrelevant videos, our channel is popular enough where people do stumble onto these videos. And that means that our channel has a lot of power. And it has a lot of power to change people's thinking for the better or for the worse, depending on how we choose to use that power. There's another cool thing about it. Every single person that interacts with this channel gets to have that same kind of power. If you make a comment, that comment will be seen by however many people see that video. If you respond to someone else's comment that's maybe asking a question, you are not only responding to their question and maybe changing their mind or educating them, but you're educating every single person who finds this video on accident. And read your comment. I mean, there's a lot of pressure for me to stand up here every week and talk about these sensitive topics. I'm trying not to step on any toes, but with that pressure, it's just, it's, it's a huge opportunity for me and for everyone on this channel and for everyone in the comments and for everyone who shares or doesn't share the videos or whatever they do, any way that they interact with this channel. It's such a huge opportunity to educate people. There aren't a lot of channels like this that have as much publicity as we do, and we're not huge, but we are huge in the community. And I'm not trying to brag. People come to me all the time asking if they can use it for school projects. People that I meet at school and everything have told me they've used videos without me even knowing for like wh whatever to educate people. And I know a lot of people, including myself when I was coming out, use these trans videos on YouTube to come out to people and to help them understand because it's good to have these other sources, people saying the same things that you're feeling and it's not just you t telling everyone that you know what you're feeling. And I'm not sure how this channel got the power that it has gotten, how it's gotten the following it's gotten. I mean like every YouTube channel, starting out, people are awkward in their videos, and it's not exactly the most exciting thing, but somehow this channel overcame all that, and now it's just this force. And I think it's really contributing something to the world in a very positive and educational way, and fun way, and that's one of my favorite things about it. I mean, I'm standing here in a jock strap that you can't see right now, talking about a very serious topic at the same time. And I could go on and on and on about this topic, and how, like, social media and blah 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 affects the world, and how all this power that we have, woohoo. But I'm sure everyone knows that me, and everyone else on this channel, and everyone else on YouTube, and everyone else on Tumblr, or whatever you're on, sharing your experiences about anything, is really a powerful thing, and you're changing people's lives, and changing people's minds. And the fact that we've been here for three years, and we're still here, and we're just getting bigger and better, it's the best. So thank you to all of our followers, thank you for everyone who makes videos on this channel and on any other channel ever. And I want to give a special thank you to all of the cis people and straight cis people who watch these videos and learn from these videos whether they stumbled across them on purpose or on accident. Because it really is flattering and it really is admirable when people go out of their way to learn things that don't necessarily affect their life. For people who really don't need to know about trans people or don't think they need to, it's really, it's really fantastic of them to be looking at these videos as a resource and everything else. And for anyone we've helped, for anyone who we've taught, and for everyone who's taught me, just like thank yous all around for everyone and etc. And uh yes. It's the kind of beat the gold.